Where in the Bible does it say that the Holy Spirit is God? If you do not know, the Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity, not because he's the weakest, but because he is mentioned last. The Trinity consists of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and they all make up the fullness of Yahweh. But many people always wonder, where in the Bible does it say that the Holy Spirit is God? First, we must show that the Holy Spirit is a person and not a force. Jesus referred to him as a he in John chapter 14, verses 16 to 17. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever, the Spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. So we see in this passage that Jesus clearly identifies the Spirit of Truth, which is another name for the Holy Spirit, as a He, not an It. In Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, Jesus teaches us to baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This is a collective reference to one triune God. Also, we are not to grieve the Holy Spirit. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 30. The Spirit can be sinned against. Isaiah chapter 63, verse 10 and lied to, Acts chapter 5, verse 3. We are to obey him, Acts chapter 10, verses 19 to 21, and honor him, Psalm 51, verse 11. The personhood of the Holy Spirit is also affirmed by his many works. He was personally involved in creation, Genesis chapter 1, verse 2, empowers God's people, Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6, guides, Romans chapter 8, verse 14, comforts, John chapter 14, verse 26, convicts, John chapter 16, verse 8, teaches, John chapter 16, verse 13, restrains sin, Isaiah chapter 59, verse 19, and gives commands, Acts chapter 8, verse 29. Each of these works requires the involvement of a person rather than a mere force, thing, or idea. The Holy Spirit's attributes also point to His personality. The Holy Spirit has life, Romans chapter 8 verse 2, has a will, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 11, is omniscient, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verses 10 to 11, is eternal, Hebrews chapter 9 verse 14, and is omnipresent, Psalm chapter 139 verse 7. A mere force could not possess all of these attributes, but the Holy Spirit does. But where does it say that the Holy Spirit is God? This is found in 2 Samuel chapter 23, verses 2 to 4. But we are going to go verse by verse. The Spirit of the Lord spoke through me. His word was on my tongue. Who was speaking out of King David? The Spirit was speaking, and the Holy Spirit's words were on David's tongue. What did the Holy Spirit say? The God of Israel spoke. The Rock of Israel said to me, When one rules over people in righteousness, when he rules in the fear of God, he is like the light of morning at sunrise on a cloudless morning, like the brightness after rain that brings grass from the earth. Did you catch it? The God of Israel spoke, which means that the Holy Spirit who was speaking through David called himself the God of Israel, which would imply and show that the Holy Spirit is God. If we look into the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4, it states, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. But throughout the Old Testament, we see Jesus is God, the Holy Spirit is God, and the Father is also God. The triune God is in the Old Testament. 